Hey guys, welcome to Electrofun. In this video, I am going to cover uh, Python programming series tutorial. Uh, in this video, I am going to teach you, uh, give you an introduction about uh, what is Python and how to install the software and begin with coding. Now, what is Python? Uh, Python is a high language object oriented programming. It means uh, whatever technique you are using for programming can be encapsulated within an object. It is interactive. It means uh, you can directly interact with Python prompt. Uh, it is an interpreted language. It means every programming language needs a compiler like uh, to compile the code and then you run it. But in the case of Python, it doesn't need a compiler. You can directly write your code and you can run it. Now it supports various platforms like uh, Perl, PHP, Java, etc. Now what is the use of Python? Uh, some of the main features of Python are uh, it is so it has standard libraries and n numbers of standard libraries which you can use uh, for your coding and it is compatible with most of the platforms available. Now you can use it for uh, GUI programming, database, uh, scalable. Uh, when I say scalable, it means uh, it it has so it supports large program. Large program it's supportable. Now it supports uh, low level programming as well as high level programming. That means it uh, supports functional and structured programming methods. It can be used for large applications. It is easy to learn and read. Uh, compared to all other programming languages, Python is uh, Python makes it simpler. More of English languages are used that makes it simpler to read and understand. Now let's move on with the software. Uh, you can download the software from python.org. It's an official Python website which is uh, where you can download the software yeah so you just have to click on downloads as you can see it is available for uh, windows mac other platforms yeah so there are two versions available over here 2.7.14 and 3.6.4 the 3.6.4 is the latest version you just have to download you just have to click over here and it's pretty simpler to download uh, nothing much difficult so i hope you are done with the installation of the software now let's move on how to use them when you check your start menu for python uh, you will see there are four of the things downloaded over here uh, let's just see each of them. The, these are the manuals. These are some do documents. If you are, uh, if you want to read and go through them, and let's check what is this. It's a Python command prompt. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Python is an interactive language. It means you can directly interact with the command prompt or any of the uh, softwares available. So this is one of them. Let's uh, check how print. So I'll just write hello friends. Yeah. So you can see a uh, hello friends string is printed over here. Now this is you can explore if you have a code already written, you can run it over here and so on. Now what's the next part? It's uh, IDLE, ID. It means uh, it's an integrated development environment where you can write your code and run it in real time. Now, if you are installing software for the first time, probably you will see the font size is uh, pretty small than what I am showing, what, what it is been seen over here. So, if you want to increase the font size, you can just go to options and configure idle and you can just size as much as you want and apply so let's move on with the basic part of how to use a shell python shell over here so let's just print 
a message yeah so i have print i have used a predefined function called print with a parenthesis giving an uh, string of welcome to electrofun now as you can see uh, in the case of other programming languages you need a statement termination a semicolon to terminate a statement but in case of python there is no need of writing semicolon at every end of a statement you can just use you can just normally write print welcome to electrofun and the message will be displayed now uh, python is a case sensitive language so you need to uh, uh, you need to be cautious, cautious when you are writing print and all those functions because those are predefined functions and you cannot change them you cannot change the syntax of them now let's check let's write print single quote yeah so there is no harsh rules that you need to have double quotes over here or single quotes you can see both of them are okay so this is all about for the first video i have covered the basic introduction of uh, python and i have also showed you how to install uh, how to use shell and command prompt uh, see you for the next time uh, if you have any doubts and if you need any detailed explanation you can go to my blog I, uh, the link is uh, the link will be mentioned below and uh, thank you for thank you for this time i hope you like my video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you